This dinosaur did not hunt like others. It entered the water. Spinosaurus had dense bones, heavy, solid. This reduced buoyancy. It helped the body stay submerged. Its legs were short, not built for speed on land, better for paddling. The feet were wide, likely webbed, designed to push water, not soil. The tail changed everything. Tall, flattened side to side, shaped like a paddle. Recent fossils show muscle attachments built for powerful lateral movement. This tail drove swimming. The skull looked like a crocodile's. Long, narrow, filled with conical teeth. Perfect for gripping fish, not tearing flesh. Nostrils sat far back on the snout. This let it breathe while most of the head stayed underwater. Even the sail mattered. The tall spine bones supported skin and tissue. It may have helped with balance, or display, or temperature control. Spinosaurus was not half aquatic. It was committed. It hunted rivers. It chased prey underwater. It lived where land predators struggled. This rewrites how you think about dinosaurs. Not all ruled land. Some ruled water. Where in your thinking are you still picturing the old version instead of the updated one?